Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how to construct the deterministic finite automata. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the DFA and NFA, two types of finite automata. So in today's session, we'll see how to construct the DFA. So mainly the DFA problems will be of a different categories. One is the starts with, starts with, so we'll be giving one substring. So we have to construct the DFA which satisfies the strings which are starting with the given substring. And similarly, the next one is ends with and next contains contains and length problems, length of a string, and divisibility problems, divisibility problems. So here we'll start with this one starts with and further sessions will go with ends with contain length and divisibility. So how can we construct the DFA? Now let us start here. So construct the question will be construct DFA DFA which accepts which accepts all the strings all the strings over alphabet sigma is equal to 0 1 0 1 starts with 0 the string 0 so here the question is we have to construct the dfa so which accepts all the strings over the alphabet 0 1 starts to 0 so first thing is we have to write the language. So here the language is a collection of strings. So we have seen all these things about this alphabet, about this string, about the language we have seen in the uh, previous sessions. So I will post the previous session links in the description so that you can follow that. So first of all, we need to write the language which satisfies this condition. That means starts with zero. So let us represent language as L. L is equal to here the string is the collection of symbols over the alphabet 0 and 1. So we need to prepare the 0 and 1. I mean the strings with the 0 and 1. So first it should start with 0. The condition is it should start with 0. So the minimum you just write from the minimum. So minimum means the single digit. Okay. So we know that L it can be written as sigma 1 a union sigma 2 union sigma 3 etc etc. So 1 means length 1, sigma 2 means length 2, sigma 3 means length 3. So just write down the strings of length 1 first and then go to the length 2, then go to the length 3 and just remember we have to write the strings which satisfy this condition but that means the string should start with 0 only. So coming to the length 1, 0 itself and coming to the next second level let us take 0 1 0 0 okay next category 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 and so on we we'll get more number of strings so with a multiple lengths so that's why this language is an infinite language this language is an infinite language so there is no finite uh, strings okay so any string which starts with 0 that's the only condition so for this, just remember what is the minimum element? 0. So what is the length of this one? 1. So if you want to represent the one length 1 string, we have to go with the n plus 1 states. So if length is n, n plus 1 states are required to accept this string. So here only 1 is there, so we require 2 states. So just I will represent Q0 as a state. So you can give any label. So you can give A, B, C, D or any anything else. I will give Q0. Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 and so on. So Q0 is a one label. So Q0 on input symbol 0, it moves to Q1 and it should end here because so it may not end. So it should start with 0. Okay. 
So this is the initial state. So this also we have discussed in the previous session. The initial state will be having the edge from no source. So this is the initial state, and upon zero it ends. So this string is accepted now. You can observe here zero. So upon zero it came. So what about the one? So if you are using this zero and one, so Q naught on zero it will move to the state Q one. And what happens if you, uh, I mean, if if Q one with the input symbol one, where it should end? So here Q one itself is the end state. So simply you can end here itself because this is the end end of the string. So simply you can give a self loop, a self loop, and whenever it becomes one, it will remain in the same state. And so this this is satisfied. Zero one. Now zero zero. What happens? So if it is zero zero, if you are starting with Q naught, Q naught on zero, it goes to Q one. Again, if Q one with a zero, where it should end? So Q one is the final state. So it, here itself it should end. So just use a, another input symbol. So if Q one with input symbol one, it remains in the same state. Q one with input symbol zero, it remains in the same state. So here you can observe this was accepted. And coming to the next one, zero one zero. So zero one zero, zero one zero. So Q naught on zero, it moves to Q one. Q one on one, it moves to Q one. Q one on zero, it moves to Q one, and it ends the string, right? So what is the final state? Q one. Here also Q one is a final state. So this string is also accepted. So we have to write down the language which accepts all the strings. Which starts with zero, and from this we have to construct the DFA. So we know that DFA means for every state there should be a transition for every input symbol. For for example, here you can see this example. So inputs are zero and one. Inputs are zero and one. I will write here itself. Okay. So here it inputs zero and one, and see. So this is a states Q naught and Q one. So what happens if Q naught with zero? It moves to Q one. What happens if Q naught with one? So there is no transition here. So it is not a DFA. It's not a complete DFA because for every state, for every input symbol, there should be a transition. Okay, let it be. Either it can be in the same state or it may change its state, right? But there should be a transition for every state with a every input symbol. Only one transition, right? Exactly one transition. So We can simply use uh, if if you use a self loop. If you use a self loop, and here the constraint is starts with zero, so it violates that one. So simply, you can give one state called dead state. You can give the one state called so this is called dead state, dead state or trap state or hang state. Hang state, right? So, what is the use of this dead state or a hang state or a trap state? So, whenever the process comes into this state, the process will never go back to any other state. It will remain in this state itself. So, whenever you got a Q naught with one, it will come to the dead state and it will remain here itself. Because if you observe, if you take the string this one, so This doesn't belongs to this language, so our DFA should not accept this string because this string doesn't start with a zero. So that's why if you get one here, so Q naught on one, it moves to the Q five. That's a dead state. So it it remains here itself. So here also we can have the transitions zero and one self loop because for every in a DFA in a DFA for every state. There should be a transition of every symbol. So here we are having Q naught, Q naught on zero, Q one. Now you can see Q naught on one. It goes to Q five. This is also a state, but it's a dead state. And what about a Q one on zero? It it will be in Q one, and Q one on one, it will be in the Q one. So you can observe here, the table is complete. The table is complete. So for every state, there is a transition with the input symbol. So it it gives the state. it may remain in the same state or it may change its state right so this is the construction of dfa for a start with problem start with problem
Hope you understood this one. One thing you have to remember for every state in the DFA, there should be one transition for every input symbol. So if you are using some Q0, so there should be a transition with zero, there should be a transition with one. And if you are taking Q1, there should be a transition with zero and there should be a transition with one. And if you are using Q2, there should be a transition with zero and there should be a transition with one. And this transition also only one, exactly one occurrence. Right? So this is called a DFA construction and this is the condition starts with. Right? So now we will take a one more example and I will construct the DFA. Hope you understood this one. First we need to write the language and then we have to construct the DFA which accepts all the strings of this particular language. Now let us take one more example. So we will take a length two strings. Okay. Starts with starts with 0 1 starts with 0 1 now first we need to construct the language see here the constructed DFA which accepts all the strings over the alphabet 0 1 starts with 0 1 so construct the language first write down the language so what's the minimum minimum length so here it is a 2 so starts with 0 1 so that's why 0 1 will be the 1 and just after 0 1 we can have a number of zeros and number of ones so that's why I am taking 0 1 0 as the next one, 0 1 1 as the next one. Next, 0 1 0 0 is the next one, 0 1 0 1 is next one, and 0 1 1 0 is next one, 0 1 1 1, and so on. So, this is also an infinite language. This is also an infinite language. But here we are starting with the minimum and we are going with the maximum. Now, we have to construct this one. What is the minimum uh, string length? 2. So, if minimum string length is true, it requires a 3 states to construct the DFA. So, just write down the, this one, Q0, Q1, see, 0, 1, simply write here 0 and it goes 1, 1 and it reaches the end state. It reaches the end state, right? So, 0, Q0 on 0, it moves to Q1, Q1 on 1, it moves to Q2, which is a final state, right? So, but this is not a DFA because Q0 is having a transition for 0 but Q0 is doesn't have any transition for 1 and also Q1 is having a transition for input symbol 1 and there is no transition for input symbol 0 and Q2 doesn't have any transition for input symbol 0 and 1. So here the symbol are 0, 1 and Q0, Q1, Q2. So Q0 on one, Q0 on 0, it moves to Q1, right? and Q1 on 1, it moves to Q2. What about the remaining? We need to construct such that uh, it should accept all the strings. Next, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and next it is 0. Either it may be 0 or 1, it remains in the same state, right? Because starts with 0, 1, ending with any number, either 0 or 1. So we can simply use a self loop. 0 or a 1. So you can see Q0 on 0 it remains in the same state and Q2 on 1 it remains in the same state. So that's a final state. So you can see here so this is the initial state and this is the final state. Right? Now what about the Q1? So Q1 upon 1 it moves to Q2. What about the Q0, Q1 on 0? Q1 on 0. So if, if it is q1 on 0 automatically the while it, it will be violated because every string should start with 0 and 1. Every string should start with 0 and 1. See for example, if you give a self loop and if you go with a 0, okay, if you go with a self loop and if you move on with a 0, and if you want if you are taking this string 0, 0, 1, you can see q0 on 0 goes to q1, q1 on 0 goes to q1, q1 on 1 goes to q2, which is a final state. So this string is accepted, but it is not a valid string because it doesn't start with the 0, 1. So that's why just use a dead state and simply pass the transition for 1 to the dead state. And here also, if it is 0, pass it to the dead state and give the self loop for the dead state because once the process came to the dead state, it will remain in the same state itself, right? Now you can see Q0 on, Q0 on 1, it moves to Q dash, that's a dead state. And Q1 on 0, it moves to Q dash. So this is also a dead state. 
right? And simply you can write here Q0, Q5. So Q5 will be remains in the same state. So in the problems which which is having the starts with problem, so all the DFAs which starts with problem will be having this dead state, dead state because there is a restriction for that all the strings should start with 0, 1, right, 0, 1. Hope you understood this one. So uh, you might be seeing the input alphabets like A comma B and there will be a question which starts with A, B or A, A or A, B, A or right. So A, A, B and so on. So these are the possible problems which can come under this category that is a starts with. So every time if it is a starts with problem, there will be a dead state there will be a dead state and first we need to write the language with all the accepted strings and then you have to construct the DFA and then you have to write the transition table right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, starts with problem feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much